Good morning, everybody. <laughs> What's up? Yeah, so Anthony and I are already busy getting it this morning. <laughs> We're uh, continuing the trim job, if you guys have already seen that on a, a video we posted yesterday on the main channel. Uh, we're just trying to finish up our bedroom, which we're right there. Anthony's doing some fancy little cuts here for the hinges on our bedroom door. Yeah, the when you put the trim on, you know, the hinges stick out a little bit so you can't flush mount the trim. So you gotta like, just make a little tiny notch out. Which isn't a big deal, you don't really notice it. No, but uh, you don't want it like this far from the door. It'll look weird, so. He's taking care of that. And uh, yeah, we've been just continuing on with the trim work. You know, when you say it out loud, you're like, oh, it's just trim. You just cut it and nail it in and you're good. No, <laughs> it's not that easy, it seems like. It's no. it's more or less just trying to figure out, figure, uh, figure out the angle cuts and, you know, lengths and, that's been the most difficult part, I think, through this whole process of trim. It's not even difficult, it just takes time. It does, it takes a lot of brain energy. Yeah. <laughs> but, for this. oh, yeah. That's gonna be really loud. I'll walk away, I'm sure he doesn't need my help through this process, but you guys can't tell, it is super chilly outside this morning. It was just very cold and very, very, very windy. Uh, I started off with just my one sweater on this morning and then when we got done taking the kids to the bus stop, I come back and I'm like, nope, <laughs> I need to put my big jacket on today. So, yeah, it's been a good morning so far. No real complaints yet. Uh, Jaina's just been on the lookout for a nice warm spot to lay, you know. You guys know how Jaina is. She just can't let me out of her sight, so. Right, Jaina? Right, Jaina? Right. <laughs> but yeah, so it's been a nice morning. We've, uh, we're almost done with the trim inside our bedroom, like I mentioned. We're just doing the last little bit of cutting here for the door, and then we can slap that in. That sounds great, and then we're gonna move on to Wyatt's room next, at least get all the bedrooms done, and then start working on inside the kitchen slash living room. The really nice thing though, the kitchen's not gonna take too much because we're gonna have the cabinets there. We don't want the cabinets, you know, you want them pushed all the way against the wall and not have the trim keeping them out. So really not a lot of trim gonna happen inside the kitchen. But the living room and the doors, uh, it just looks so good. It's, like a totally different house when I look at it. Uh, the first day we got it all put in, we went to bed and I was just looking, I was like, oh, it feels so good in here, so homey. And I just really can't wait to get that ceiling put on. That's what I'm really looking forward to, is getting that ceiling on, which, like I mentioned guys, it's coming, so exciting. Uh, and getting everything uh, almost tied up and finished with the house and, it's been a really long process, it seems like, but so worth it. It's been so worth it. Right, Jaina? Oh, <laughs> she sees the speckle, the sun reflection from the camera, and she's all chasing after it. <laughs> she's silly. Yeah, the sun's a blaring on that side, I guess, so. I was showing you guys kind of what Anthony was getting going on. And then exciting things happened too this morning. Anthony went to go uh, check on the chickens and he went over and uh, grabbed the eggs and there was like, I don't know, five or six eggs in there. So they're doing really good. <laughs> I told them, I said, man, you guys, those chicken eggs are worth a lot of money right now. Right guys? <laughs> they're all poofed out and trying to stay warm this morning. I guess they're a little chilly too that wind oh yeah see notched it out for the hinges i'm gonna make sure it fits yeah looks really good baby and then uh, we could stain yeah that so when you put it up on the door don't you don't see it yeah you know i'll be right back let me yeah. go check speaking of stain <laughs> if 
you guys noticed in the last video too, I wasn't wearing any gloves when I was staining and my hands were like stained. Like I look brown and uh, some people were like, how are you guys, you should be wearing gloves. How are you gonna get that stain off your hands? Well, I just washed them with some Dawn dish soap and scrubbed my hands down and it came out really good. It took like three or four times on a little scrubby brush, but I got it off. And I know we need to invest in some um, latex gloves or uh, vinyl gloves or something. So hopefully maybe, and it seems like we're supposed to maybe go into town this weekend, I don't know. But if we do, I'd like to get some. And, and every time we go into town, I always say to myself, oh yeah, we need to go grab some vinyl gloves or whatever gloves so when we stain. But then you get there and you forget, you know. And recently, I've been going into town and I haven't really been bringing a list, which is probably terrible of me, but you know, old habits sometimes die hard. Gotta get back into the swing of things, you know? We took like, kind of December, November has just been a little, you know, cause of Thanksgiving and I didn't want a bunch of groceries and cooking and just all this stuff. I've just haven't gotten back into the swing of like, planning my weeks out for my meals and making my grocery list and sticking to my list and not forgetting things, you know. But, yep. So far it's been a good morning, like I mentioned. It's a little chilly, but. <laughs> See how that stuff fit in there. Did it fit? Uh, I could do like one blade width on this top one, but all the other ones fit. Nice. It's kind of. Should have went down just right where that pencil mark was up. Mm. Just one blade width. Nice. Yeah. Well, you guys can hear uh, the roosters are getting it this morning. Oh, that's Reek out there. He's he likes to walk around and strut his stuff. I'll tell you guys what. He is Reek. Anthony says sometimes when he goes inside the. Uh, the coop to feed him. Reek wants to get crazy and like attack him and stuff. So he's very territorial. And you can see his comb's healing really nicely. I think it looks a lot better than it did. And uh, I heard that we're supposed to have like maybe one more ice storm before the end of the winter season. But for the most part, it's supposed to be a very mild winter, which is crazy because right before winter, like in fall or spring, they were like, oh man, it's gonna be like one of the worst winters. And it was because we had that really cold day where it got down to like three degrees and it was like negative 21, you know? But other than that, it's been pretty mild. And hopefully it stays that way. You guys know how mother nature works sometimes. It'll be one way one day and then another way the next day. So. <laughs> Like yesterday, it rained all day, on and off. I had to go into town, I went and got Sylvia. <laughs> Brought her home, Why it was so excited that she was back and stuff like that, so. Happy to have her to sleep with him last night. And she didn't really do a whole lot yesterday. I mean, I'm sure she's sore. But man, this morning she's just full of energy and acting like nothing even happened to her. <laughs> Who? Sylvia. Oh yeah. Yeah, picking her up yesterday. She was kind of out of it yesterday, but today, nope, she's just full of energy and back to her normal self. <laughs> yeah, she's doing good now. yeah. She was actually this morning she like ran outside and I was like, okay, you wanna go outside? Go outside. So she went out and she was out for maybe like twenty minutes. And she was like, No, it's way too cold out here. Oh yeah, I kinda changed my mind. <laughs> I'm going back inside. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where she's at she's loafing around inside well i wouldn't put that too far away this yeah because you might need it for no i'm not yeah wyatt's room right yeah yeah no i'm just unplugging it yeah so we're moving I don't like table saws plugged in you know because the blades open it yeah freaks no, me out. no i don't like table saws at all they freak me out any kind of saw really freaks me out like i don't like um a skill saw, you know, I'm not very good at them. I don't like using them, they're scary. Chainsaws, I'm not a huge fan of chainsaws, those scare me. Chainsaws aren't too bad. 
I'm just, I don't know. Do you guys remember um, Garbage Pal Kids? <coughs> the garbage Pail. Yeah, Garbage Pail Kids. There was like a trading game card thing, and they had like it cabbage. It was 80s. It was super 80s. <laughs> it was, they were gross. Yeah, and they were really gross. <laughs> but there was some pretty nasty ones with some saws, so I think that's like traumatized me from when I was a kid. <laughs> yeah. I remember one specific one. My sister had it. Uh, it was like a, a sewing machine and like the garbage pal kid he like had his hand through there. Oh man. I'm like, I still remember that card. You know, what's actually funny is I have a couple of those cards. At least I think I do. Yeah. I hope they didn't get lost in the move, but I had some that I forget where I got them from. Somebody gave them to me for some reason. And I've like hoarded on to them for all these years. Not all these years, but like they were super popular, I think, before I was born. So <laughs> I just remember my sister had them. Oh, you're staining it. Yeah, just so it starts drying. Uh, make sure you get the this part then too. If you're gonna do it. I would have done it, no problem. I know. But that's you're... that's been my job. Today. You're blabbing away. Yeah. So it's all right. Yeah, I'm yakking it up over here, but that's been my job all day is just staining what needs to get stained. So, oop, that would have been bad. Tip that over. I've done it. Yeah, that would have sucked. I can't believe it. We bought this stain the other day when we were in town and we've already pretty much gone through almost this whole thing just on the trim that we have done. There's like a quarter of it left, but we do have another one, so. Well, the wood's so dry, it like, it yeah, really this, sucks up the stain. Yeah, this this trim board that we got this on this last order, is, like he said, it's so dry. Like, you can see it just suck yep. it all up. It's yep. crazy. But I love this color that we picked. I do, too. It's such a nice color. And uh, Anthony, this morning, he put a piece up on the accent wall in there, and oh, my goodness, it looks so good. <laughs> yeah, the green. Yeah, and... Also, oh. too. Oh. oh, we're rich, guys. I, I don't know if you guys. We told you guys. They must like this cold weather. <laughs> I got six eggs yesterday. Uh, yeah, I was telling them it was six rich. eggs. I said I couldn't. I, I was like five or six eggs. Either way, it was still a lot of eggs. We're rich. Yeah. Same, same. Man. Uh, Price of eggs nowadays. Yeah, we got a half a dozen. So. I'm gonna go buy me a new car. That's as much as it's worth. About as much as it, <laughs> a whole dozen just a few months ago. It's insane. Yeah. Well, I was going to say, too, uh, for my accent wall, I ordered something for it, and I got it yesterday, and I'm really, really excited, like always. <laughs> well, when we're done with our bedroom, we can do that back wall if you want to start there. Yeah, I was telling so him, I, yeah, I'm not going to tell you guys what it is, but I think it's going to look so good on that wall. I, I mean, I hope it does. I think it'll look good. I think so, too. I, like, held it up there yesterday to look, but it's kind of hard to tell when it's so small yeah. <laughs> right now. <laughs> I get it. Yeah. But I think you guys will like it. But This is the new one for the top? Yes. That's, the door? Yeah. That's the new one for the top. And then that's the other side of the door. It's ready to go. Yeah, so these are just going to the top then. Yeah. Yeah, staining, guys, is... Uh, I'll grab it because your arm's probably tired. <laughs> well, my hand's frozen. Oh, well, I got my gloves on. Yeah. But yeah, staining is a big process, man. It's, yeah, process. Like you were already saying. Yeah, you know? just cutting and the angles and measuring and checking and going, oh man, I got to cut a little more or, you know. Well, with the angles, um, you try to be as precise as you can. It's just 45s. It's not like there's all these angles. Yeah. But the lengths of them makes you cut the right, you know, left or right angle. Yeah. Because if you cut the wrong one, right, and the board's already to length for the most part, you just wasted a whole board. <laughs> you, you can't go back. Yeah. And I We've mean, done that a couple times. And each one of these is like eight bucks oh. each board. Yeah. Eight, nine dollars. So it adds up. <laughs> you know, the money adds up. So you got to be careful. Yeah, very careful. <laughs> but we've been getting it. It's been cold out here. It's been nonstop working. So. Yeah, we're going to continue to get it and hopefully get at least our rooms, our room and Wyatt's room done today, maybe. Yeah, well, we're just going to work on through. We'll see yeah, how it works. Maybe uh, get start working on the living room that'd be nice yeah we shall see yeah we shall see <laughs> but we didn't want to not do a vibe even though we've been working so yeah we just woke up 
had some coffee, watched a little TV this morning. The and news. Then, yeah, and then just hit it. Yeah. So. Good vibes your direction, guys. Yes. Hope you guys have a great day. Stay motivated. We're trying to, even though it's a little chilly. <laughs> <laughs> have a great day, guys, and we will catch you all tomorrow. Bye. Bye.